I got emails every single week from kids that are studying this construction trade asking me, how'd you get into this? I didn't go to school. All I got was a few smacks in the head from my dad as I was paying attention to him and how he built. And it was old school meeting new school. We are in the den, her office. A lot of people think this was stained because you can actually still see a lot of the, the grain in the, in the wood. Due to part because of the poplar and about the plywood veneer. There's no MDF here. A lot of woodworking went into this room. A lot of paneling, a lot of detail, and a lot of prep uh, from the painting and getting everything all ready, all the nail holes, all the caulking, everything, all the sanding. Obviously the homeowner had her own designer come in and started choosing something that I considered safe. Uh, like a blue grayish tone. Never really was a fan of it to begin with. And once I sprayed the black, I was sold. I was sold. It made a lot of sense because all those floor registers and the cold air returns, they all get painted, they get spray painted black. So the idea is that you don't see any of the metal work inside and it just kind of disappears. In a den like this, it doesn't feel dark. It doesn't feel dungeon. It feels inviting. It feels like this is what I want my office to feel like. Since we're doing all the paneling, we're painting it black. We might as well paint the crown molding black as well and it works really well. And then the ceiling got painted this gray, this almost metallic kind of gray. And uh, this is all coming from Dulux. I mean, this is their melamine finish, the same finish as all the door trim that we've done in the house. It was all sprayed, beautifully sprayed. It, it's a nice finish, almost like a lacquer kind of cabinetry finish to it. By choosing a black finish, it actually makes my work a lot harder. It makes Silvio the painters work a lot harder. Everything deflects in black. Once the electricians come in here and they put the receptacles in, screw this place from Hubble and the light switches and everything's black. And then this whole paneling was all designed, all this built-in was all designed around the front door closet. It was about hiding the front door closet. That was a critical thing. And the first thing that I thought of, shift the door over so the door is not in the corner anymore. So what it allowed me to do is park a built-in right, as soon as you open up the door, there's a full built-in right there from the floor right to the ceiling. So you've got a built-in that work, it works with the woodworking, so it all just blends right in. It's nice, and once again, I'm using apron, sill, I'm using sill and sill and doorstop uh, to build these built-ins, and these are not intricate built-ins. They're not, you don't need fancy tools or any of that. They're boxes within boxes within boxes, that's all they are. The woodworking paneling, it was really simple. What I really like is all the intricate detail when you get the, the paneling come really close together, like right from the door entry coming in here, you've got our molding that, is butt up against each other. There's no space in between it. But over the window, there's about an inch space in between. And that's, it's all that intricate. When you see molding go around a corner, make a 90, make a 45, that's when molding looks the best. I'm happy with the way this room turned out. I mean, it's a nice den. It's a den that I would want to be using myself. You know, we, we finalize everything by just putting black trims on the ceiling so it can pull from the black walls and, you know, highlighting the luminous light bulbs. And uh, I like it. Thank <laughs> you.